So we're two weeks away from Sonic X Shadow Generations, which is actually like crazy to think about. And to celebrate, I decided to revisit some of the most embarrassing things to ever happen to Shadow, and that is the episode Shadow DLC for Forces. And here is the stage. Now, you know it's like little like freezes here and there. It's mostly because of the game uh and the nouveau. Like the nouveau, okay. I forgot where the boost button's at. Even though I played Generations uh, recently, like I forgot what the boost button was for this game. Literally, this is Sunset Heights, except you know, like you know, like little tweaks in level design. Look at this here. You can literally do this. Like it's actually embarrassing. This is actually the case. Like you can do this also in um, Death Egg as Modern Sonic. I think you can do it in Sunset Heights too, but. It's been like a while since I last played Forces, so like, I mean, last time I played it was like the Overclock mod. Actually, no, that ring video I did a few months back. I was only like Lost Valley, basically. Okay. So, like, literally, like, you have this 3D at the beginning, and then, like, you transition to 2D, which is like, yeah, it's like literally, like. And 2D is just like. The controls are just like very, like, very mediocre. <laughs> They're really stiff, like... The controls has been downhill since Lost World, which is a game I really don't like, but like... This is like way worse, like, whoever control, like, decided to like, do the controls, like, whoever's in charge of step one in terms of like, movement, like, literally, like... Hope that guy is now longer involved in Sonic, cause like... He didn't, like, whoever like, did step one for movement, man, it's just like, you are not cooking very well, you literally burnt the whole kitchen down, and look at that. And the sage. Made in 40 seconds, like... I actually did this like a minute in like 27 seconds or like shorter than that. But like, it goes to show like how short like these stages are for forces. So it's just like literally crazy. You got Shadow over here like not wanting to be here, which I mean respect because this DLC sucks. What you're doing most of the stage is literally just on the water slide most of the time, which is actually like crazy. Like it's fun, honestly. Like, I mean, it's cool like you're doing this stuff like this, but like, I mean, like. These stages are just like so short. It's just like, like, it's just a huge waste of like resources too. Like, what's the point of making these stages like if you're gonna make them like super short? I can just do this basically. I always do that. <laughs> but I forgot I can do that just now. But like, man, there's all these freaking motor bugs. Like, this is like so disappointing because, like, I mean, like, remember when this first got announced? Like, even though like I was a big like forces defender, like, I was like, yo, Shadow's back? Playable character? And like the last time Shadow was playable was like Black Knight. And uh like I remember seeing that first gameplay. I was like so disappointed with it. Cause like it was literally like Shadow in a 2D section. It was just platforming. It was just like so boring. It was just so bad. The only good thing Shadow did in Forces is like with the performance that uh his VA did. Like, that's like the best part about Shadow in this game. Like, it's crazy. Like, Shadow was like this good in Forces. But then Team Sound Racing came in and was like, what just made the character like so edgy and corny and hate him so much? And the last stage, virtual reality, which is literally, yeah, Green Hill Zone. I love Green Hill Zone. My favorite. Oh, how they spammed this, like, there's like what? One, two, three, four. There's like four green hills. Actually, no, five green hills in this game. Let's, let's include Shadow. I forgot about this, actually. Yeah. Literally, it's just a 2D section. You're just boosting, and just like, it's so boring. If I recall, this is like the same section in the Avatar Sage. I. Say that because it's been a minute since I last played this game. I mean, I mean, I don't play forces. Like last time I played it was like that overclock mod that dropped. Oh, you know, last time I played it was that freaking um, did that ring video, such a ring, special game. Yeah, like a few months back. It's on the PS5 too. I just like did that because of the joke. I was like, I mean, install forces on my PS5 and just um, might just say because like install this game on this damn poor console. I mean, it's a really, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty poor console, though. I mean, like, you don't have much games, much to offer. But I say this, though. The PS5 is a great third-party machine, though. I say that. And then, like... 
it's just so embarrassing like three sages and a reskin like that's what all you have like that's what we have to have and also like you also have shadow playable in like sonic stages so, like i mean it's cool but like it's so mid because like stages are so mid for forces i mean like even like motor cannon like motor cannon is like the most like non-linear state okay that's actually crazy like Motor Cannon is like the most non-linear stage, but like that stage is so short and then almost two minutes, which I mean, most of that was mostly because like I got hit a lot. So thanks to that. And since it's like so short, I'm going to play some Sonic stages because yeah, this is crazy. And since the DLC is like really short, I decided to go for two Sonic stages in uh, this video to make it the video longer. But like, yeah, you get the two shadow in um, most of Sonic stages. And I say most of because like... You can't play Shadow in um, Death Egg, nor um, freaking um, Luminous Forest, because um, both of them have scripted sequences. Where like um, like Luminous Forest, you had found that um, snake, and then like Death Egg, you have um, you're in that um, giant uh, rocket shooting stuff, which is like very like so lame, just button mashing. But like this is like. You see here, the music here is like pretty good. It's just like the instruments they use is just so, so lame. But like the beginning is like pretty good. You nice have like piano and stuff like that. But like, it's just like the little like electronic stuff, like EDM. I want to say EDM because like, I mean, it's not really EDM. It's like more like electrical, like tech, tech uh, I don't know how you call it. But yeah, it's just like really that. This is okay. <laughs> and like, some of these stages got like some really good ideas. It's just that the problem is like literally they're too short and like most of them like you're spending most of the time on 2D, which like I mean, sure there's a problem with colors, but like colors like that game's fun, that game's enjoyable, and then shortcut right here, like sure like colors had six acts, but at the same time it's like I mean at least most of them are fun and like also like you get the biggest eye you like, bang out of your buck with um. The first three acts being like at least like a minute or like two minutes long. So like colors, you know, was fun. Force is just like most of these are like literally like under minute, a minute and a half. Like you'd be lucky to have like a two minute save, which is like very rare. But yeah, this is I'm ready. Metropolis uh highway. It's just like I mean, this is literally like Grand Metropolis. Like I'm sorry, like literally Grandma Chop is except like it's really just all white and dull. That's pretty much it. There's no blue, there's no like green like heroes. It's just like oh there's like little green hair, but like it's just like a white dull city. Like it's cool though. Look at that dome there. Like it looks cool, but it just looks very dull. I'm like, look at this. Obviously, okay, yeah. Bro, most of the stuff you can like literally look at this. Okay, I was like, I thought you can like just boost there and like it's just automatic return, but yeah, no. Look at this, bro. Like you're really just boosting the straight line. Like literally just boosting the straight line. They really were right when they said um, dash like a maniac was actually like this. Is actually, what they said. One of the people that work on horses like literally like that's what they actually said. Like. You know, like, I like dash like a maniac, you know, just press the X button to like, uh, you know, boost. Like, that's like so, so stupid. So stupid. Like, literally, like, this is so lame. Like, Luminous 4 is like even worse because like, most of that stage you can literally just like, boost. Hold the boost button and just do nothing. Which is actually like ridiculous. And like, bro, it's just like literally just boosting the straight line. My fault too. I mean, you can't really blame me that like you can just boost there while like having the turn. I mean, like it's forces. But, like, dude, like look at this. You have a scripted sequence right here, which like you could. I mean, you could have probably just like boost there instead, and it's like more boosting. Like, look at this. Like, this level design just sucks. It really does, like, already ending off of a bang. Like, actually a good sage. Well, by forces standards, but like, yeah, Mortal Cannon is like literally like the most 
non-linear stage in the entire game. Like, it's just... Literally, like, there's, like, so much, like, multiple pathways here, too. Like, obviously, they, you know, very short stage because forces, but, like, look at this. Yeah, multiple pathways to go for. Like, obviously, the problem is that you're still boosting through a damn straight line. Like, dude, like, just pressing the boost button right here. Like, look at this. This is embarrassing. Who ever thought of this idea, bro? Like, dude. Like, I was boosting for a good, like, 10 seconds or more. Like, that's actually, like, how, like... Also, again, too. Look at this. I can just boost here. Do a jump there. Just boost there. Like, look at this. Like... Bro, like, look at this. This is actually, like, embarrassed. Okay, I got hit there. But, like, still, just... Fucking hit the like, booster, like, bro. Bravo. Bravo level design right here. But if you want to play Sonic Forces, then definitely play Overclock. Like, that mod is literally, like, way better than main forces. Like, even though it turns a C-tier game into, like, a C-tier game. But, otherwise, catch you later. <laughs>